Hello ladies and welcome back to It's Time for Tea. My name is Princess Nay and this is my femininity journey that I decided to share with you. Before I get started ladies, please follow me on Instagram at callmeprincessnay. Follow my femininity page at the indigo woman underscore. And ladies, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so then I can reach more feminine women across the globe. Okay, ladies, so now let's begin. Today, I wanted to mention a few things when attracting high-value men and how you should entertain realistic dating habits, mainly with everything opening back up. Now, when dating high-value men, it's very important to always look your very best. I would say as a woman, when we look better, we feel better, and others around us will notice. Please take in consideration of having a feminine appearance, smelling good, and becoming your worth. I am well aware men can look at certain women who literally walk in their purpose with their heads held up high and who knows that they are the type of women that men seek out. People treat you how they see you, treat yourself. However, when attracting high value men in the dating world, one of the best things you can do is to never seem desperate for them their time or their money men can sniff out desperation on a woman a mile away which is why a woman has to always know her worth in order to be with a high value man who can have whomever he wants due to his lifestyle it's best to be very genuine honest and truthful about what you want out of a relationship when those questions present themselves after he shows you and informs you he wants you to be his woman and his woman only. You see, high value men only find an interest in women who have things going on in their own life and not sitting around waiting on men to call or text them. That kind of clingy behavior screams desperation, which is why most high value men go after other high value women as well and level up together. Now, I'm not telling you to play the cat and mouse game completely, but allowing the man to take the lead when asking you on a date first is very important versus shooting your shot first, which can be seen as a turnoff. It is also seen um, by a man if you're overly available um, as a turnoff, which guys do not like that either because now you seem too easy of an access and they love a good challenge and i may not know everything about men ladies but one thing i can bet on is that majority of men see dating that way unfortunately most women find it okay to make everything easy for men in this generation which placed them in a low value stage with men and can't, who they can't figure out why their relationships are not working in addition, men are aware women are dominating industries, but they also know a lot of women are desperate to become wives or girlfriends to high-value men with money. Listen, ladies, a lot of men with money who lack character is nothing but a grown boy with money who needs guidance. Please don't blame yourself or stress yourself out let alone become frustrated to get a man because he will play on your weakness and use it against you by wasting your time and providing little effort just to keep you around until he finds the one he actually wants to be with and wants to feel leveled up um in his own journey this is why i tell women who want to level up to stay away from those sugar daddies or rappers because a lot of those women that they are detaining are crying in luxury cars daily um, wearing birkin bags and having stds from those kind of men versus being happy online like they're portraying to be you have to learn your worth and learn to love yourself by having that on display so no man in history can play in your face by being a toxic grown boy. Understand the importance of living a luxurious lifestyle before getting with a man so once you meet him, he can meet you on your level. Men need us, which is why they change for certain kind of women versus changing for themselves. They need high value women to go to the next level in life and not women who use their bodies to persuade them um, um, because they have um, clearly forgot that we are God's greatest gift um, and in reality we are in control of everything and they know that um, but if a man sees a woman who lacks um, high self-esteem he will use that against you and will get everything he wants out of you and use you up until he gets with the woman he actually wants to be with also Never break for a man, nor allow him to raise his voice, disrespect, hit, belittle, cheat on you, let alone 
run in and out your life, ladies. One thing I learned um, being single is that I can bet on myself that I deserve the very best out of a man that God has for me. Now, to meet the kind of men, I would suggest being in industries they work in, normally consisting of networking events, entertainment, real estate, or attending luxury car events, art galleries, yacht sales, racehorse events, or architecture events. Also, ladies, it's great to become a part of charities the rich and wealthy are indulging in that may spark your interest in your own community or other um, affluent communities. I would suggest attending cocktail parties, boat parties in bigger cities, big annual galas, dinners on rooftops, fundraisers for the greater good. So you can also meet a man who has a giving heart, ladies, because that is very important. And also, ladies, do please don't forget to attend big HBCU events because that is where a lot of high value men are located. Overall, ladies, while attending these events, it's best to practice your etiquette and social skills to be seen as a classy woman who fits in those inner circles you want to become a part of. There is nothing wrong for wanting a better life for yourself, mainly if you want to become married and have children with a man who can provide, protect, and can lead. Also, ladies, never get with a man where anything he does makes you feel stressful, and that includes bills. You should always want to date a man who's going to give you a stress-free life, in addition to life you can give yourself. Always do everything with pure intentions by having God at the forefront of each decision to receive your blessings and abundance from the universe that you deserve. But that is all for today, ladies. Remain classy and beautiful. Mwah.